welcome to Fito Thai Kitchen. Today we are going to improve poison barbecue sauce to get a better taste. Yeah, buy a little bit of trick with the, our recipe. Okay, and the recipe is not much. <coughs> Garlic. Uh, a few pieces of ginger, coriander, and a sister, and the uh, what do you call this one? Cinnamon. A uh, cinnamon stick. Oh, I forgot. And uh, <clears throat> some black pepper, but I, I I didn't show in here. We put the uh, in the end and uh, 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 a little bit of sugar. Yeah, just get the better taste. Okay, and uh, right, let's go, we're going to cook now. Okay, we use the medium heat, not too low, not too high, but uh, we use the sesame oil. Okay, where's sesame oil? Okay, we use, uh, we use sesame oil. Like I said, if you are allergic with the sesame oil, use the cooking oil. Yeah, put in here. Okay, when the, this one getting hot, yeah, put all the ingredients we have prepared. This one, okay, and we fry it together until you can smell aroma from here. But this sauce we eat with crispy duck, right? If the sauce left over, you can uh, keep in the fridge. You can keep for one month, two months. But today we use two cans, two cans of this one. Or if you don't use must or not, don't have to eat every day for crispy duck, you can use only one can, you know. Uh, what else can you use it for? Ah. Uh, you Not can, meat. yeah, you can uh, marinate with the barbecue spare rib or anything. Just marinate uh, a few hours and then you grill it. Or you, some people even uh, stir fry chicken. You can put this sauce and then just add the taste, the balance, the taste, what uh, the taste you like. You can see the uh, the color change. You can smell. Did you smell anything crispy, man? No? Yeah, did you see the color change? Yeah. Like a brown color. And not only the color, you can see, you can smell. This one nice. Yeah, this sauce nice with the spirit. Okay, when the color, the brown smell, then you put the hoisin sauce in here. This one quite sticky and you add the water. chocolate yeah don't forget don't, don't <laughs> have to keep safe for your children if your children think it is wonderful chocolate okay and you fry it this one you fry stir until about a half an hour and then you after this one if you keep on frying the color change to really like chocolate dark chocolate yeah and then you put the taste a little bit of sugar and then you taste it. If you like more salty, just add uh, a little bit of uh, salt, not too much. Oh, somebody put a message. Uh, I like that. Uh, be a beautiful recipe from a beautiful lady. Oh, that's nice. The uh, comment. Uh. Mm. Don't worry. I try to make myself look more, 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 more beautiful. Yeah, for the viewer. <laughs> Yeah.
You can see the color getting darker. Yeah, I can see the color getting darker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one you stir fry until the the right time. You have to explain the right time. You can see by the color. If the color getting dark like chocolate, and then you taste it. Yeah, and the taste is okay. They say the right time. I mean, yeah, if not the right time, the color like this is not the right time, and the taste quite funny. Like uh, when you eat, uh, okay, the taste like this. When you eat the uh, young uh, apple, young green apple, yeah, the taste like that. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah like this. Oh, uh, astringent taste. Mm. Okay. Yeah, taste like that. But this, this one, the taste okay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, a little bit sour and sweet, not bitter. Salty. No, not salty. <laughs> right, I'm going to brown the taste uh, with the sugar. One tablespoon. And a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, and then you taste later. Oh, salt, salt. And black pepper. <laughs> and fry another five minutes. Okay, now yeah, we get the rice taste and the rice color, right? And then we take we take out of this one. This one, I don't. I I I bet you cannot finish in uh, one time, one meal, <laughs> <laughs> and then you keep uh, let it cool. First, and then you keep in the jar and then keep in the fridge. You can leave for a few months. Okay, whenever you like to do the cooking, like to marinate or something, yeah, take it out and put it back. All right, so we've got some aromatic dog here. And we've got our hoisin sauce. I always add chili oil to aromatic duck. Just pairs so nicely. Uh, for the recipe for that, uh, you just check out this link here. Right, let's get started. So our hoisin sauce is amazing. So many customers ask for this to put on rice, put on everything. Um, <clears throat> so, get a bit of your sauce, put on a pancake, get a bit of duck, excuse fingers, cucumber, oh, looks good, some chili oil, yeah I go mad with the chili oil, I must admit, it tastes so damn good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh damn, that's good. Mmm. Oh wow, that's so good. I've yet to try a hoisin sauce that is better than this one. 